We'll figure it out at some point. Okay, so we're going to play a game. It's called um, Will You Press the Button? It was very famous on the internet a while ago. I'm just getting on the trend now. It's a website by the name of willyoupressthebutton.com. These are would you rather questions. And I will engage with them in good faith as if they were all written by adults that are PhD candidates. Probably the screen might be a little bright, but that's okay. Will you press the button? You can have infinite milkshakes at any time. You can only have the vanilla flavor and there are big bits of ice in it. Can I, can I run something by you? This is the easiest choice of my life. Why would I not push the button? I could just opt not to have the milkshakes if I didn't want the milkshakes. I have the access to infinite milkshakes, regardless of the caveat, gives me uh, the idea that there's no downside here. I will press the button. 53% said yes. 47% went ooh. Free matter. Will you press the button? You can shapeshift into anything, real or not. But every time you shapeshift, you will hemorrhage. So I think this is like a this is like an ESL or like a, a regional dialect thing. Um, hemorrhage just is what some people mean when they want to say bleed, right? So let's assume this means bleed. You can shapeshift into anything. Real or not, but every time you shapeshift, you will hemorrhage. Let's assume like it's very painful and you lose a decent amount of blood. I would probably choose not to shapeshift very often. But I would definitely hit the button because you could just choose not to. I, I have a problem with your fundamental premise. I hit the button. The top comment, by the way, says, shape shift into rock, damage is meaningless. So there you go. If you want an easy win here, just shape shift into a rock, which should provide a lot of value um, to your real life. Genius. You're capable of spreading joy wherever you go and are capable of taking care of the needs of the world but you become a bitter shell of a person and never experience happiness again. Already pushed that button a long time ago. It's called Go Live. Will you press the button? You fall in love with and marry your dream man or woman, but every night he or she turns into a creature from your, your worst nightmare and you are forced to fornicate with it. Um, that seems like a heavy no. That, that's <laughs> just <laughs> absolutely not. I will not press the button. Like, I'm just thinking about like the 36% of the people that are like, I fall in love with my dream man or woman. And every night I got to do it to a spider. But that's okay. Because the rest, the other 23 and, the, you know, a third hours a day, are very fulfilling. That one part with the spider stuff, not so much, but uh, the other 23 and a third, that's the good stuff. You are guaranteed a spot in heaven and get everything you want after your very painless death, but St. Peter shows you videotapes of every interaction intimately between your parents and grandparents before entering. As easy as pushing my life, yeah. Not it's it's gross. Don't get me wrong. And St. Peter is a freaking you know, he's a weird it's a weird horn dog. He's a weirdo. It's just very I don't even know what he gets out of it. This is what's very bizarre about it. But um, you know, after some uncomfortable moments for for the rest of eternity, I'm I'm living life in heaven. With the guaranteed spot and everything I want. Okay, Tomo, you can go. Would you push the button? Your cat gets to leave, but you have to 
do some dead air on stream. Will you press the button? You can make any picture format moves like .gif, but you suck at Photoshop. I feel like I would push the button. <laughs> I already suck at Photoshop. That's never stopped me. Can you imagine any picture format moves like GIF? Dude, could I like look at the Mona Lisa and just turn the Mona Lisa into a GIF? That's a picture format. It's dot canvas. Will you press the button? You have unlimited money, but you have to become a raw food vegan. Can I tell you the top comment here says not worth it asterisk eats bacon asterisk that should give you some indication of how long this website has been around okay i'm just gonna i'm not i haven't even read the prompt yet but the top reply says i'm 15 got 45 years ahead of me so i i, I let's see how this goes uh, you become a mortal god with the very universe at your fingertips until the day you die. But you cannot control free will. No one will ever believe you and you die at the age of 60. It's so weird that they put in you cannot control free will. Like, am I the only person that looks at this and goes, what crossed their mind where they were like, you can't make it. People do whatever you want them to do. Because I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you can't do that. But you can do everything else except no one will ever believe you. And why do you care if people believe you is, I guess, like the other thing that doesn't make it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, if I was like, I'm a mortal god with the universe at my very fingertips, and someone was like, I don't believe you, and I snapped my fingers, and there was like a Boeing 787 right in front of them, and they're like, yeah, that could have just landed, and then I like snapped my fingers again, and it turned into like a big, like, pink elephant. They're like, so? Like, whatever. Like, I don't care if you believe me, I can do whatever. Just weird. You die at the age of 60? I don't know. I would probably still hit the button. That seems like a pretty good upside um, and very little... I mean, dying at 60 is, is young, don't get me wrong. But there is also, like, baked in here. Is the, and I'm, I hope I live longer than 60. I'm not one of those people that's like, I think I'm going to be dead at 40. You never know what's going to happen, though. This might be like a 20-year plus for me. <laughs> Will you press the button? Press the button and gain the ability to hop through fictions and control your character. How strong, effective you are in the reality, but you can only leave after a season's worth of time. Seems like a zero downside option. Um, and as long as you pick a good season, who cares? That's an extremely anime question, no doubt about it. Oh, God. Your favorite fictional character will be real and l will love you endlessly, but they will die after being in a relationship with you for one year. I will not push the button. It's weird. Is that like a heavy, weird energy coming off of that? I don't wish to interact further with the question. <laughs> Just probably skip this one. <laughs> um... Can I, just, can I just hit refresh rather than hit the button? You know, I choose not to hit the button um, just because I'm, I'm opting out of the button press. That's not a no to the button. It's an I choose not to. Will you press the button? You invent the funniest joke in the world and it always makes you laugh, but you can never tell it to anybody else. This is already what my life is like. I think of jokes all the time that make me chuckle. And I'm like, this is the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. I tell it to other people. They don't not laugh. They just talk over the punchline. So, like, I would hit the button here easily. Why wouldn't you hit, like, there's no downside. Like, 45% of people are like, I wouldn't even want to know the funniest joke. You and the person of your dreams fall in love, but you both die young together. I'm already like, 
married, dude. I don't think my wife will be too happy with either of the possible outcomes from pushing the button here. Either <laughs> like either I'm out or we both die young and I'm already like 32, so I'm pretty sure they're going to come to collect pretty soon. <laughs> I choose not to hit the button. Dude, the website is having some serious troubles though. It's not, uh, it's not handling things well. Yeah, chat, can you get off the website? They only have 12 sockets. Chat, get off the site. Mom, don't pick up the freaking phone. I'm trying to use my modem. Okay, will you press the button website? Maybe there's a second one. Buttonboo.com. Will you press the button? <laughs> the first one I got. You get to date a perfect person. But they are your same gender. What? That's crazy, man. This website seems a little bit more like ramshackle. But I'm willing to give it a try. And we'll, we'll see <laughs> if it's... We'll see how it is. Is it working? It's a little slow, but that's okay. Next button. Okay, let me get the screen region set up. This is so much more... I don't know. I made fun of the other one, but now I'm like, this one is almost... It's goofy in its own way. You get to be a Harry Potter person. Hermione, Ron, or Harry Potter. But... You will always be the same person. Uh, <laughs> I'm, so, here's a, this is a rare one. I don't think the downside is that bad. That when you transform into somebody else, you stay as them forever. But I don't think the upside is very good. I'm, I'm content where I stand. I don't really want to be like Ron Weasley. I also feel like it kind of sucks to be Harry Potter. Like, yeah, he like, I mean, I, I'm not spoiling anything. I haven't seen the movies or read all the books, but I'm like, you know, he's a wizard. Yeah, but doesn't like his friends die and he's in like a freaking war and stuff like that. And he has to go toe to toe with uh, he who shall not be named. It sounds like it suck. Like it's awesome to read about, but it's like not so great to be a part of it. So, no, I will not push the button. 199 people want to be Harry Potter. You know everything, but you die of constipation in one month. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm probably not going to hit the button on this one. That's a pretty heavy downside. Knowing everything, there's a lot of advantages there for sure. Dying in 30 days is pretty much a non-starter for me. I'm not going to hit the button, man. Come on. Come on. Two out of seven people were like, yeah, that sounds fair. And you don't just die, like, painless. You die of constipation. Which I, I'm pretty sure means if you're going to die in a month of constipation, it's going to start as soon as you press the button. Like, you just enjoyed your last poop. And it's only going to start to feel worse over time. You can get married to any of your fictional crushes. And they will love you forever. But they are very protective and possessive. They get really mad when anybody shows any romantic interest in you. Probably just, you know, no thank you. I knew it was going to be like 70% yes. Because I, you know, I just thought about the kind of person that would look at this question and be on this website in the first place. And I was like, pretty sure it's going to be a, a super majority. I have no idea what that even means. <laughs> At all. So we're going to move on. What, who, is this the... Did Blair Woods write this question? Who is Blair Woods?
Reeve Blair Woods will be remembered for his love of working for his ratepayers. Grassland Reeve Blair Woods passed away on Sunday, November 7th. He spent more than 30 years on a municipal council and the last 20 years as Reeve. You know what? F in chat for Blair Woods. I'm hitting that button. Make, make him handsome. Stay golden, pony boy. You can go on a date with anyone you want, including celebrities. It's always fictional characters. <laughs> Every single one is like, you get married to anyone you want, including cartoons. But they are only going to cook you chicken tenders three times a week. Um, again, any question that relates to like, Dating, I think I say no to just on principle here. 50% of people were like, I will go on a date with anybody, but not if it's going to be awkward. What's the point? So I'm uh, not going to hit this button, and I'll probably go back to the other website because I feel like this one might be unmoder unmoderated. Can I read this one for you? Okay. So the next, I, I was like, I'm going to vet this next one. And here's what it was. You get $100 whenever you say a word. That's pretty, I just made like two grand in that one sentence, right? <clears throat> the downside. Hitler, Rasputin, Genghis Khan, Osama Bin Laden, and Attila the Hun, and Ivan the Terrible all come back to life. <laughs> I all the, the other thing that okay Hitler, Genghis Khan, Bin Laden, Attila the Hun, Ivan the Terrible. What Rasputin not like a good guy necessarily, but does he have to be in the same group? He was like he was He'd probably created some harm in his life, but he was mostly just kind of wacky, right? Yeah, he was a big creep, but he's not on well, the same level as Genghis Khan. That's like... Uh... <laughs> I don't know, man. You can have a wee -oo with anyone you desire. But you are severally depressed until you find the man slash woman you were originally going to marry. I think we already know. We're going to not hit the button on this one. Um, even if, you know, I were single, that seems like a bad... It's like, you could have a little bit of fun, but you also are going to hate the rest of your life. Um, but also, you know, being married already, that's an easy non-button press. You are young and beautiful forever, but you have the world's worst voice. I, I hate that I'm stealing these jokes from chat, but impossible. Or not chat, sorry, the comments. The world's worst voice job has already been filled by Justin Bieber. Oh my god. <laughs> he went there, man. He went there. Um, Honestly, I mean, this is for me personally. I don't place a lot of, uh, a lot of value on physical vanity. Um, I feel like having a nice voice works to my occupational advantage. To be fair, being beautiful forever probably would as well. But I feel like... Um, I, I feel like there's almost a downside to being beautiful forever. Like, young and beautiful forever. I feel like if you're like a... If I saw an 80-year-old dude, and he looked like a 25-year-old guy, and he was like, I was born in 1940, I would be like, yo, you're fucking weird, man. That's weird. If you're 80 and look 60, I'd be like, good for you. If you're 80 and you look 20, I'm like, what the heck happened? You know? Something's not right. Yeah, plus, plus you sound like a weirdo. <laughs> you, plus you sound like a, like a total loser. You sound like Justin Bieber. Anyway, I'm not going to push this button. Oh, many people chose not to 
uh, push the button. I, fe I feel like uh, it's a wise decision. I bet it, it dude, it sucks because everybody's going like Gilbert Gottfried, Gilbert Gottfried. I feel like Gilbert Gottfried has a good sense of humor, obviously. But he's also not young and beautiful forever. So he's like, somebody already pressed the button for me and I didn't even get the... I didn't even get the credit. You get superpowers, but so does everyone else. You know what? That's an I will not. I am... I that would, Dude, that's so scary. I trust myself to not be a total asshole with superpowers. Can you imagine... Like, have you been watching the news lately? If everybody had superpowers? It would be horrible. They absolutely cannot be trusted. On the other hand, how can you stop a bad guy with superpowers unless you have a good guy with superpowers? Riddle me this. Um, probably move on to the next one here. Every day, an attractive and wealthy member of the opposite gender will fall helplessly in love with you. But this includes people who are married, taken, and those you haven't met before. Polygamy will be banned and shunned throughout the world. Oh, so uh, this is obviously a work of fiction. Um, this honestly just seems like a big problem right now. So I would not hit the button. Um, honestly, it, it seems like kind of a big problem if you're single too. Like, I just, I know that in some, like, 56% of people hit the button, right? Which is crazy, but, like, you're like, wow, amazing. I get, like, a my pick of the litter or whatever. But you're kind of, like, ruining people's lives every day. And it does say every day it happens. That sounds, like, like low-key kind of, like, frustrating. You're like, oh, can I just take, like, one day off from being this desirable? No, thank you. Will you press the button? You will never have to go to the toilet again, but toilets are made extremely comfortable and they have the soft quilted toilet paper. We're going to slam this button as hard as possible. There's literally, literally it's just upside for the rest of the world. Would I still go to the toilet? Probably not. I'm not just going to go to the bathroom and stare at the wall and sit on a nice chair for sport if I don't have to but everybody else is going to be like thanks for hitting that button I got the nice quilted toilet paper there's no downside you are able to read minds but everything you read is negative about you that's already what it's like to read uh, <laughs> the YouTube it's what it's like to read the YouTube comments the comments on YouTube is what it's like um, no maybe I don't know you can have any movie star you want at your beck and call. Whatever you do with this movie star will be recorded for a new hit reality show. Actually, like, the easiest button press of all time. I, I could just, I could start, like, my own Amazon Prime show with John C. Riley or something like that. That sounds amazing. Or, like, me and John Hamm having adventures. This sounds like a, this sounds like a, a good time. So this, this tells you what you need to know, which is 40% of people were like, I don't want anyone to film me fucking. That, that is your low baseline right there for the percentage of people that were like, I, I would only hang out with a celebrity if I could have intercourse with them, but I don't want any, any cameras there. That's scary, man. 40% of the internet's population is in horny jail. And what should freak you out as well is that a certain percentage of people that that's what they wanted from the from the movie star are over here because they're like, yeah, film that shit. I don't care. That's scary, man. That's frightening. You can control the thoughts and emotions of others but your subconscious desires also manipulate others, so you can never be certain what others really think or feel about you. Very weird energy. There should be there should be three buttons. The button, no button, and then slap the person digitally, not physically. Digital slap to the person who wrote the question for weirdness. 
you know, like the bonk. Yeah, horny jail bonk. There should be a bonk button that's like, <laughs> go to weirdo prison. <laughs> you could make the girl in your English class love you, but you'll never know if she loves you for real, which she doesn't because you used your power to create it, but it'll constantly like rot at you a little bit. Weird question. So the top comment here from five years ago is from Noob Slayer. XXX underscore Noob Slayer underscore XXX. Um, and here's, here's what it says verbatim. I say I know it. Scientists will pay me a one. I That's not even like a quadrillion. That's like, uh, I don't even know, like one octillion euro. So let me start here. I say I know it. Scientists will pay me a one trillion euro to tell them and then I am like fuck yeah I ain't telling any shit that is 21 thumbs ups anyway I'm gonna hit the button <laughs> you may legally drive drunk but drinking affects your driving skills 10 times as much so basically this question is like are you okay with killing people if you could be drunk in your car? Even the top reply is, why would anyone ever want to do this? This just doesn't even make any sense. I would... <laughs> that's a bonk? Go to weirdo jail? I will not. It just doesn't even make sense. I hate these questions. You go to go to weirdo jail as well, please. Oh my god. You can make every single time. You can make people do whatever you want. They're aware you're doing it to them and will feel whatever physical and emotional pain you cause them. I will not. I don't even want to list the top comment, but it's what you'd expect. Have a 60% chance to win a hundred million dollars, but drop dead if you don't. Okay, a 40% chance to die. No. It's that easy. 50-50, huh? Dude, I'm like, I'm actually going through like an existential crisis. Because you know that it's like mostly 12 to 15 year old kids that are answering these questions, right? The idea of like my daughter in 15 years clicking the button on this one and being like, yeah, if I die, no big deal. Like it just breaks my heart. This hypothetical situation has actually caused me like a great spiritual pain. I'd be like, Really? You give you like a coin flip basically to die for a hundred million dollars? It's just money. Think of all the Bugattis I could buy, Dad. Guess the Pagani on is not good enough for you, huh? Okay. Will you press the button? Crazy senseless love making with Emma Watson, but you gotta fuck a corpse. Mmm. Probably a no on that one. Also, heavy bonk, go to horny jail. Any downside that is you gotta do a corpse is gonna be on the is gonna be it's gonna have a a very, very um is the barrier to entry is high. Then again, Ben Franklin did say No cats are gray in the dark, if you know what I mean. I think that means if you close your eyes, Ben Franklin would have sex with a zombie. You personally enter the bonk, go to weirdo jail. You become immune to extreme heat. You will, but you will sometimes catch fire for no reason at all. No. Obviously, no. Why? <laughs> 65% of people are like, yeah, that's worth it. Yeah, you're immune to the fire. But like, okay, you're in your house and now you're on fire. You burn your whole house down. You could hurt people that you're around. You're sleeping next to your wife in a bed and then you, you know, can't sleep because my bed's on fire. Don't touch me. I'm a real live wire. 
And what is even the advantage of being immune to extreme heat? I have finally take that uh, vacation to the inside of a volcano like I've always wanted to. Like it doesn't even make it's not even a bonus. Doesn't even make any sense. It su- this question sucks. Everyone who answered yes sucks and is wrong. Your words make everyone love and respect you, but you can't talk to people until they've touched your genitals. I will not press the button. Already got the first one easily, um, just through the power of personality. You are given the phone number of your favorite person, real or fictional, and they will answer whenever you call. For every minute you speak to them, you lose a week of your life. Absolutely not. Are you stupid? (laughs) Are you dumb? It doesn't make any sense. You can do and have anything you want for as long as you want, but 50 people from every country die. No resurrection. (laughs) i love this too because it's like you know 50 people dying in canada it's not nothing but you think about it you're like oh man 50 people dying in Liechtenstein. that's gonna be a bad day i like that it's not 10,000 people worldwide they're like it's gonna hurt every country Equally. Um, So here's the thing. Could you do anything you want for as long as you want? Could you cure diseases that would save more than 50 people? Yeah. Would I feel... Because this is about like 10,000 people that would die, right? I don't know. Do I want to be the guy who killed 10,000 people directly to save... Millions of people directly? I don't know if I'm at that level of utilitarianism. I think people would be like, you're a hero. But I would be like, yeah, but I did kill the Pope and all the Cardinals, right? I don't know. This is a very tough one. I think I think maybe I would push the button. This is the last one. <laughs> no, let's not. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do one more. This one, uh, you can have literally anything you want, but a feminist tells you how wrong you are every time you do it. The top comment was, I would just put her in prison. That seems like an appropriate response to somebody criticizing you. Oh, and there we go. We're, we're back to the front. It's like poetry. It rhymes. Um, let's do chess puzzles. This was fun, though. We could. I want to do more stuff like this in the future. This, literally last night at, like, uh, 11, I was going to bed, and, uh, like, an idea popped into my head, and this was the idea. And I typed it out into my phone's, like, notes app. I was like, that's going to be great content. Anyway.